The curvature of a curve at a point can be visualized in terms of a circle of curvature, which is a circle of radius r. So, so let me show you what we mean by that. Let's say I have a curve that looks like this. Let's look at circles drawn where the perimeter are at various points along our curve. So if we take a circle right at this right here, notice that circle is a circle of radius r tangent to that point, describing that point. So that point has a curvature that is inversely proportional to the radius at that point. Let's label this point point 0.1. So we'll label this curvature at point 1 being equal to the reciprocal of the radius of that point. Let's label this point 2 and this point 3. So if we look at a circle drawn touching point 2, notice this circle has a certain radius. The radius of this circle is larger than the radius of the circle drawn for point 1. So we could say that here the radius of curvature is equal to 1 over the radius of this circle that we just drew. And because this circle has a larger radius, we could say that the, the circle of curvature for point 2 has a smaller curvature than the circle of curvature for point 1. And now let's look at point 3, a circle that's kind of in between the circles drawn for points 1 and 2. Point 3 has a circle of radius r3 drawn there, and so it has a curvature given as 1 over r3. And we could say now that the curvature at point 1 is greater than the curvature at point 3, which is greater than the curvature at point 2. And the reason why this is true, it's because the radius of the circle of curvature at point 1 is less than the radius of the circle of curvature at point 3, which is less than the radius of the circle of curvature at point 2. Qualitatively, we see that curvature varies inversely with the radius of a circle r at a given point. The larger the curvature, the smaller the radius of curvature, and vice versa.